Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing with you my morning routine and this is my weekday morning routine which is very different than my weekend morning routine. So my alarm goes off at 6 a.m. every morning and I usually hit snooze for at least one to two times but hopefully just once. And then I finally get up, get out of bed, and you know, go pee. So I wanted to let you guys know that today's video is a collab with Justine Marie. She is such a sweet YouTuber. I've been friends with her for a while now and she has the sweetest little family. She puts out the most encouraging videos. If you have not checked her out, you gotta go check her out for sure. I'll make sure that her video is linked below and she's gonna be doing her morning routine with her baby and toddler. I start the process of making my bed because I feel like if I get my bed made, my whole room looks clean and that just feels really good to get done right away. Sean is already downstairs. He wakes up at 4 a.m. to work on his PhD. He is getting his doctorate in business, so he's already been awake for at least two hours before me. So my New Year's resolution for 2019 was just to get a morning routine down. So that's why this one is a little bit more thorough than I probably ever could have done before because this was my only goal this year. I just wanted to get up consistently and do certain things in the morning that made me feel refreshed, that made me feel ready to handle the stress of the day, that made me feel like I was mentally taking care of myself, emotionally, spiritually, physically taking care of myself. Because as a mom, if you are a mom, you know that we get pushed to the max and there's not a lot of refueling time. So even if it's just 30 or 45 minutes, it makes the biggest difference ever to just invest some time into ourselves. So now I'm getting my lemon essential oils and I'm just gonna go ahead and put those in my diffuser and I'm gonna diffuse those into my room. And honestly, I used to read this book and it was called The Safe Haven Marriage, but it talked about making your room feel like a special place, you know, like not having like kids toys in there and things like that and just trying to make it your own special place that you can get recharged, refueled, and kind of feel like you have some quiet time and just like pamper yourself a little bit. That is my goal in the morning, is just to pamper myself so that I can get ready and prepped for the day with my kids and my husband. So I like to let in as much light as possible just to make myself feel like, okay, it's time to get up and don't try to like lay down and go back to sleep. I also like to grab some coffee from downstairs. Sean already has like a full pot on just because he wakes up so early, he's got it ready. I like to get my chapstick, which is green tea mint. And it's just like really refreshing. I love that scent. So when I set out to do this whole morning routine thing each day for the year, I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I just just wanted to do healthy habits. I knew I didn't want to start my day on my phone. Did you see me just put it down right there? Because when I get on my phone, I feel like my brain gets scattered. So since I've been doing this morning routine, I actually have read through a book. Can you believe it? My first book since having kids because I've been waking up every day and just reading a chapter. It's such a good way to start my day. I try not to be like too rigid with myself. If I wanna read that day, go for it. If I feel like I need to journal, go for it. If I need to write a to-do list because I'm feeling stressed, go for it. So this is my journal. It just says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And it was given to me from a friend. So I'm someone who loves, loves, loves to-do lists. I just like making to-do lists so I can feel accomplished, so I can cross things off. I don't know. You know, that is important right there. A time to drink my coffee. <laughs> So next up, I get out my massive Bible. I just got this this past couple months and I think I ordered it off of Amazon. And I really like this one because it's a study Bible and it's the New Living Translation, which is just like really easy to read. And I like the study Bibles because it has like explanations underneath different verses. So it kind of like unpacks it for you if you feel like it's kind of hard to understand what it means by certain words or whatever. This is actually a topic that I have gotten video requests for so many times and I have never done. Just because, I don't know, it's such a big topic. I didn't know where to start. I was in Isaiah 
idea and it was talking about fearing people that we don't have to worry about fearing people and I love that because especially with all the social media stuff it's so easy to just think about likes and subscribers and follows and blah 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 and really at the end of the day that stuff does not matter so it's just so good to get my mind focused on the truth and positive and what my life is really all about. So I wanted to show you guys one more option because I've gotten so many questions about this. This is actually a Bible app on your phone. It's free and it has so many good tools. It's called Uversion. I'll try to link it down below. You can choose reading plans and as you can see this is one of my plans from this past year that I didn't quite finish. It was reading through the Psalms and there's all kinds of different things on anger, hope, depression, fear, peace, stress, blah, 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 marriage, dating, new to the faith, read through the Bible, work, prayer, listen and watch. I mean, it is packed full of tools that are free. If you don't like reading, you can watch stuff on the Bible. This is just all of the stuff that I have been using for years and years and years, so I could talk about it for forever. I don't really talk about this stuff that much on my channel. I don't know why I just don't. This is actually another app that I really love and it is a meditation app. You check in for the day, you talk about how you're feeling, so like hopeful, happy, overwhelmed, and tired. And then it will take your results and it will tell you a meditation that they think would be helpful for you to do to kind of like bring you into focus and focus on the present and work on your deep breathing. I actually have struggled with postpartum depression and anxiety pretty bad this past year. This has been a tool that is life-changing. Like everything that I do in the morning honestly is a game changer for me and just all of the things that I've been working through with my postpartum. Sorry if you can hear Bentley's iPad in the background, that's how I'm getting this <laughs> voiceover done. Anyways, then I just like to organize the rest of my day and just write out everything that's on my mind that I need to get done that day no matter what it is, whether it be for YouTube or for the house. You know, refilling toilet paper is a very important part of my day. And so I write it all down and then I prioritize it. I actually have another video on that that I'll make sure I link. And I just continue to try my best to stay off my phone. Probably the most that I'm on my phone in the morning is Marco Polo. Once I go downstairs and like drink more coffee or eat my breakfast, I usually check in with my friends and stuff like that. But as for my room time, I try to be off my phone the whole time. So now I'm getting my five pound weights out. This is hilarious watching me do this right now. I don't know why, it just makes me laugh. So I just do some arm workouts Literally, it takes me probably three minutes to do everything that I do in the morning. <laughs> it's like nothing, but at least it's something, you know what I mean? That is really one of my next goals that I gotta figure out. I don't know what I'm gonna do about it, but as far as like working out and stuff like that, I just cannot find something that works for me as far as like being a mom and being consistent. I just cannot get into a habit. Leave me a comment below and let me know if you know of anything that works for you as a mom, as far as working out goes. So I just threw in a load of laundry upstairs and I try to do that every single morning before I even walk downstairs. I just throw a load in, whatever clothes and towels we have is what goes in. And I try to get a massive glass of water and chug that because I do drink a lot of coffee, which can definitely dehydrate you. So I try to stay hydrated. And I just showed you that shot of all of the toys. Like that's just the beginning of like the craziness, you know? That's why I really try to have some me time before I hit the ground running and cleaning and feeding and getting the kids ready for school and getting them fed and all that stuff. Mornings are just busy, busy, busy. I can't wait to see what Justine's morning routine is like. She is such an inspirational girl. If you are here from her channel, don't forget to hit the red subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around and be part of our little family. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.